Hi everyone. Uh, hopefully everyone arrived safely from the previous session. Um, now we are uh, welcoming John Lodge and Hashram Della to talk to us about Hexitime, which is a really great uh, initiative about um, time sharing, uh, time bank, I think it's uh, officially called. Um, so before I start uh, saying something wrong, uh, I shall uh, give it over to um, John and Hashram. Hello. Thank you. Hi everyone. My name is. Can you get an echo there, John? I can hear you fine. Yeah, it's fine. Right. Right. And uh, anybody called equipment in Nitro? John. Hi, my name is John Lodge. I, I work at NHS England as their London Regional Head of Quality Improvement. And I co-founded the Hexitime platform with, with Hisham. And I'll, I'll be giving you all a demo in a, in a few minutes. Brilliant. Okay, so the format of the session, half an hour or so, is going to run. Well, the outcomes that we're going to have is by the end of the hour, you will have taken a step further to develop this practice to the NHS. You will all have rest onto the time bank. Yeah, is that any better? Oh, I okay, so now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so uh, by the end of this, we'll have you all um, um, on the on the time bank, you will have built a bank of offers and requests that you'll be able to dip into, both for other members of the R community as well as for other people across the NHS. Um, the session outline before the break will give you an introduction to Hexitime. Um, uh, John is going to go through a demonstration as to what it is, how it works. We'll, we'll field some Q and A, and then over the break, uh, you're going to be building your Hexitime profiles. Um, an hour's break. During that time, you can get a, a browse of the platform, have a look through it, and then we can return to developing what we're calling the Wishing Well campaign. And this will be an opportunity to recognize your own problems and post challenges on the platform, as well as understanding your assets, what can you offer the NHSR community, and secondly, embracing your deficits, what do you need, and then posting requests. And by the end of this afternoon, Hopefully you will have connected with at least one other person in the community with a resource that you need or offered a resource that you have. Okay, so by, by way of introduction, I'm gonna give you a little bit of the background to Hexime, just a little bit as to how it's developed and what, what, it, what it's all about, essentially. Um, so, bear with me. So my story starts um, about five years ago when I probably should have been at what was the pinnacle of my career. As a consultant pediatrician, I was in a job that I had aspired to since being a kid myself. And as head of a fledgling pediatric department, I was leading a team of clinical and non-clinical staff redesigning healthcare services so they would be better suited for our local population. And I'd really, realizing a dream or a mission to improve the quality of healthcare that had been all the more meaningful when my dad, himself a doctor, actually died at the hands of substandard medical care. What I didn't realize at the time, and, and looking back, it sticks to my throat to say it actually, is that on a deeper level, I was failing as resources were cut, as doctors, nurses, managers were being asked to do more with less. As staff sickness levels rose, I responded in, in the only way I'd ever known since childhood, really, working harder, coming in early, leaving late, and neglecting the other things in my life which had now come a distant second, including my health, my wife, time with my own kids. What I didn't do and was empower my team, and in neglecting this, I became more and more isolated through disenfranchising the very team members who I felt it was actually my duty to lead. Slowly but surely, I became the bogeyman in the department and what I recognize now as, as burnt out. 
within a year I could no longer cope and resigned not just my clinical lead role but also my job as a consultant and for the first time in my life I was unemployed and unemployable broken having left the profession that I loved it was during this hiatus in my life searching for meaning I guess that I came across a local time bank some of you will have come across time banking before and it's neatly summarized by give an hour get one back so say for example your next door neighbor breaks her leg if you're both in the time bank then you could help her out by utilizing an hour of your time mowing their lawn and in doing that you earn one time credit um, which you then bank if you then at a later stage need some help at a filling in your tax return you can ask for help on the time bank and someone else can help you out if they've got some accounting knowledge for example and earn that credit from you so in doing this you may have noticed you've achieved three things firstly you've got work done at no cost and minimal bureaucracy so money no money's changed hands secondly it's connected community members together in a way that would never have done before and and thereby builds community cohesion and the third thing and this is perhaps the most surprising is that by giving an hour of time of your time and being genuinely appreciated for it is is incredibly gratifying so and and moreover because everyone's time is valued equally whether you're mowing lawns babysitting or programming there is a focus not on what you can't do but what you can not your deficits but your assets and in that comes a really deep sense of well-being so i started seeing the similarities between this deprived but proud community with, with my team of healthcare professionals trying to improve the quality of healthcare for patients and i realized that i was also trying to solve complex problems while struggling with bureaucracy and diminishing resources i was also reluctant to seek help from colleagues or others who may even have solved this problem elsewhere and i was constantly focusing not on our assets but my deficits and in my kind of misguided attempts to drag this department out of trouble i was inadvertently depriving members of this team and by extension colleagues across health and social care from making a difference in themselves benefiting from the gift of giving and i wondered if rather than a time bank of place i could build a time bank of purpose that also generated energy, motivated staff to improve the quality of care for patients. It was then that I was introduced through the Health Foundation to John, John Lodge. So he, as you heard, is a senior NHS manager. And from his vantage point, he was frustrated by huge unwarranted variations in health care outcomes. So whilst some departments were exemplars of their service um, with spare capacity, you know, ex you know, good examples for others to follow. Others were not even managing to make the, deliver the basics of patients' care, and all the while, patients or people were really falling in the cracks between the patient pathway, like like my dad had done. So, what John wanted was to build a skill sharing platform that could move resources, knowledge, expertise to where they were most needed at the time of greatest need. So he's kind of the, you know, the technocratic telegraph reader, whereas I'm more the kind of, you know, Guardian columnist, shall we say, you know, but we're looking at it from different angles, but essentially what we wanted to achieve was the same. And together we founded what we'll be presenting to you over the next half an hour or so, which is the first healthcare professionals time bank, HexiTime, which essentially, as you can see in the logo here, puts people's heads together to improve quality of healthcare. So, but this, just as any other time bank, the same rules apply. Simple principles, no money changes hands, everyone's time is valued equally, irrespective of pay scale, profession, gender, or, or race. And what we've done is within a few days of our launch, we had 100 members, within six months, we had 500. And in just over a year, we're nearly at 1,000. And the first thing I check every morning is the number of members we've got on Hex Time, we're about 970. So I'm hoping that will hit 1,000 today, and the prize for the 1,000th member, which we can announce later on. And we're on the way to being the biggest professionals time bank in the world. And daily, members are posting generous offers and heartfelt requests for help. So if it's chief exec in um, Scotland, in Inverness, gets a one-hour tutorial from an analyst in London, or a paediatric nurse in Warsaw gets an hour of advice from an expert in pathway mapping from the university, the result is the same. One credit is exchanged, 
everyone gets more than they put in. And so what we found really is that in an industry like ours, which tends to struggle to admit its own failings by its very nature that failure uh, equals suffering, HexiTime is allowing healthcare workers to say, I don't know what to do, and then rely on the inherent generosity of a community of colleagues who they may have never met, who could then help them in their hour of need. And, and what we discovered is, is what I guess is really the basic building block for, for social movement, preparedness to show vulnerability and ask for help. So time exchanges are now happening regularly, as we see catalyzing connections in pretty much the same way that John and I were brought together to found HexiTime. And our learning has been fast and uplifting. What we found is this, just as it was time banks of place, offers outnumbers requests five to one, and a reflection of the kindness this idea kindles. Secondly, if you've ever been at a meeting or a conference like this one and found that the conversations during the break are more useful than the lectures, it's because the tacit knowledge of the other delegates has helped you translate theory into practice. And Hexatime has crafted those coffee table conversations through its search and best match functions, which you'll see later, sometimes bringing people together who work in the same organization down the same corridor who, who may never have met. Um, and more, most importantly, this is time banking has led to productive work being done and helped launch new ventures with tangible benefits for colleagues and patients. So in a healthcare system that's slowly moving from competition to collaboration, exchanges are happening between what would once have been rival organizations and moving mindsets, showing the magic that can happen when healthcare enters the, the sharing economy. Uh, Gandhi taught us that the way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. And through giving away time, members of the Hexatime community are coming away inspired, enthused, and generating energy and ideas for quality improvement in the process. I wish I'd known this, obviously, during my first forays into clinical leadership. Or what we're discovering now is that by giving the gift of giving, everyone gets a lot more back. And I invite you now to consider how you could be part of and contribute to this community. Um, what we're founding, and this is just in a quote from one of the um, associate medical directors on the platform, is that she is there, she's found a guy coach, gained an improvement seminar, or through use, using this platform. And part of that is, is this idea of going from chaos to collaboration. So this is um, a comic, but I think it's an image of, of hell where you, I think it comes from Dante's Inferno actually, where you've got lots of individuals there and a resource available and they've got these long handed spoons and, and they're all starving. Essentially what it takes you using the same resources and by offering it to others, you've used the same resource more effectively. Um, and this is Professor Michael West quote about how this really harvests kindness in terms of how things move. What we do realize though, if we look on how time in your I think you might have lost Hesho. Um we'll see you later. Hey Shim, I think your signal has dropped, uh, but I'm ready to jump in if it if it's not coming back. John, can I suggest, if you don't mind, that if you if you carry on and uh, yeah. we'll make sure that just send a message to Hisham to to kind of make it clear. Uh, but fine, John, if you carry on, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll jump in. So uh, I think what Hisham was was about to show everybody on the on the who's missing slide uh, are are people like your good selves in the audience. So um, we we we've seen in the in the last eighteen months of running Hexi Time that we get a lot of requests uh, and talk for support that would probably benefit from people with with the skills that we see in the NHSR community. And so through some of the conversations we've been having with Mohammed, we want to help you as best we can to, to mainstream some of your skills 
into into operational need with the NHS, but also to uh, to give you access to a wider improvement community to support both your professional development and the work that you're that you're doing yourselves operationally. So it's really exciting for us um, over here at Hexi Time to 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 have access to such a such a skilled, talented community, really, and to be to be engaging with you. What I'm what I'm going to do now is uh, is do a screen share for about fifteen minutes, and I'm going to show you how the, what the platform looks like and how to use it, and uh, and I'm going to show you specifically how to create a profile that gets the most from the platform. And I should I should just add at this stage, um, while I sort of cajole you all into using Hexi Time that. Hexi Time is a we're, we're a not for profit. We're we're um, we're making sure this is free for all of you to use, and and we're all about using skills and expertise in the NHS. And me and Hisham run this as like side projects to to our day to day NHS jobs. He's a practicing pediatrician. I'm a practicing NHS manager, and this is about supporting you as a community and not not ramming a a business down your throats. So. Um, with with that spirit in mind, I'll I'll go to a share screen now, show you the platform, and then I'll spend some time specifically on creating a profile. So allow me to share screen. And as I say, do do put questions in the chat while I'm talking. Hisham will try to answer and and vice versa. So hopefully you can all see the Hexitime homepage here. So uh First thing, HexiTime is uh, if you if you Google HexiTime, it will be top of the search results, and you can access it simply using the link HexiTime.com, which we've we've put in the chat. You can, without creating a profile, you can view a lot of the content, but you need to create a profile in order to engage with activities. So the first thing you'll uh, you'll see of any use on the on the homepage as I come down is some search bars. And in these search bars, you can search for people sharing or requesting skills within your immediate postcode. You can see here with a search radius within your geographical region or by organization. And one thing we've added in, in advance of today, as you can see here on the drop down menu, you've got all the NHS organizations, but we've also, uh, we've also added the NHSR Academy and we've added the NHSR Community. And I'll touch on this with the profiles in a second, but it's really important when you create activities in your profile to add these tags to, to them so that should people ever want to search for NHSR community members, it'll be tagged on your activity and they can find you. We'll touch on that in a second. As I scroll down, you'll see an opportunity to register. If you click on this or if you're not registered, there'll be a link in the top right corner. You can, there's a very simple prompt to register. You only need to give us your email address in order to do that. And it can be any email address you like. I would add though, that if you use an academic or an NHS or a government email address, it's quicker and easier for us to validate it and approve you to the time bank. If you use your Gmail, we just need to, it, it might take a bit longer for us to approve you. So do, do use an official account where possible. Uh, like many websites, you'll then get an automated email sent to your account to then verify your account. I would ask at that stage that there's a little prompt where you can opt into the newsletter. It, it'll be great if you could opt into the newsletter because then we can send you useful updates about what the NHSR community is doing with Hexi Time, but no pressure to do so. You can also then browse by activities and browse by members. But as I scroll down, you'll see something called Hexi Time Campaigns, and you'll see a nice shiny new campaign here with the NHSR community. I'll come back to that in a second. As we scroll down, you'll see an activities feed, and then you'll see the members feed. Uh, lots of uh, NHSR community members starting to join the platform uh, already. Uh, it's really useful uh, when you do so, if you, if you make the appropriate tags, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, if I show you the activities and how to how to engage with those, you'll see that people are predominantly at the heart of Hexi Time. They're either requesting time and skills, as you can see here, or they're offering time and skills. 
And if you want to engage in that activity, first of all, what you need to do, if you go to the top right hand corner and click on your profile, sorry, rather click on your dashboard, is you first of all need to uh, need to apply apply for the time bank. Uh, and if you click on profile on the left hand side here, you'll see a little section that says join the time bank. And when you click on that, it just asks you for your name, make sure you understand the term and conditions, which are basically saying that you won't exchange money for your time for your time and that you're there to join in with the spirit of giving and that you're over 18. When you hit submit, that goes to me and I'll approve your approve your application and I'll be doing that over lunchtime uh, if, if you do apply. Back to the home page. Once you're into the time bank, you can you can add activities. So a couple of ways to do that. One is to uh, one is to simply click on your dashboard. In fact, the best way is to click on your top right corner there and click on add an activity. When I click on uh, add an activity, I'll show you three main functions of Hexi Time on the left. You can offer your time, ask it of others, or you can upload uh, an idea or, or what we're terming a wish in the wishing well. So let's follow one through. If I if I want to offer my offer my time, click on that, and it goes to a simple form. Lots of it is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, so let's put in let's put something in there. So amazing our coding skills. Uh, put in a bit of a blurb about what what's um, what specifically is useful there. I just stress to you that um, we've got people doing improvement activity from across the NHS here. So lots of people are not going to know what our coding is. So when you communicate with the HexiTime community, try and dumb it down a bit and operationalize it in a way that everyday NHS folk can understand the brilliant skills that you're bringing to the platform. Always add a picture here in the choose file bit because pictures attract attention and bring your offer to life. When you click save and continue, it then helps you with some further fields. So you can add an expiry date for the activity. If you put an expiry date in, it will automatically drop off the platform on the date that you specify. You can also limit the amount of hours that you want to offer. So let's say I, I only want to give 10. You can then also limit the amount of offers that an individual takes. So if I want to offer 10 hours of mentoring, for example, but I only want individuals to take two hours at a time, that's what that does. So that's saying that five people can take two hours each. Or it might be that you, you don't want to set a limit and you will let one person take all 10 hours. Uh, the other thing of use is the API into Google Maps. So you can specify your location if that's relevant. You can also add logistical uh, elements around, around things like lift access and, and all the rest here. Uh, when you click uh, understand terms and conditions, it then goes to our tagging feature. And this is really important. So for example, if you, in, when people search for your activity on the website, if it's only relevant to London, add the tag. And if it's something that's only relevant to NHSR community members, again, add the tag. Uh, also, you'll see that we've created the NHSR community space on, on HexiTime. If you want your activity to appear in the space, again, add the tag. And you scroll down and it's at the bottom there, the NHSR community wishing well. When you do so and you hit submit, that will instantly go live and you'll see it in the campaign. Uh, if you're not sure about it, by all means, save it as a draft. And in your account, you'll find it in your dashboard as a, as a draft. Uh, I'm just gonna show you, and the, the, the form is very much the same for uploading a request if you need skills or expertise from other people. I'll just show you the ideas feature. And it looks like, this. So here's an example. Uh, my boss asked me to create a syllabus. I didn't really know where to start. So I, I put an, a, a, an idea out 
uh, to to the community, uh, asking people what should go into a management training syllabus. It's a feature on Hexi Time that allows you to put a concept without having a fully worked up idea. And then it allows people to contribute to your idea, as you can see down here in what is essentially a chat thread. And they can also rate people's ideas and build on them. So, uh, so you can see here, for example, this idea has had a build by Hisham adding onto it and a rating. And as somebody that's uploading the idea, I can then see on a dashboard level which ideas have got the most support from community members and might warrant my attention. So I can see here on this dashboard that idea number four has got the most votes. So I can scroll down here and see, oh yeah, this is idea number four here. And it's a thread about economics. So even if you've got a, just an idea without a fully formed request or an offer, you can add that on there. And if I go to the top right corner, add an activity, you'll see it here in that challenge feature. And it's what we're trying to show you uh, in the NHSR community campaign as a, as a wish. So on the homepage, if I scroll down, we've got this protected space here, the NHSR community wishing well, supported by the Health Foundation and, uh, and you guys. If I click on this, and it'd be really great today if we can populate this uh, better, is, uh, is it's a call to action for NHSR community members. When you tag your activities, you can see that they start to populate on the bottom here. And apologies to the, the two Chris's and Robert here. I've, I've taken the liberty already of tagging your offers to the campaign, knowing that you were NHSR community members. Uh, and again, you can upload your, your wishes there. There's a bit of an explanation about what we're trying to do with this campaign. And the, the branding we're putting on it is... Is, is around a wish. So is there something that you wish from the NHSR community or indeed the wider NHS community that, that people with skills could help you with? And that could be an idea or a request for specific support. Or it might be that you see other people's wishes and you want to help them out with. And if you forget to click on the add an activity part here, I've hyperlinked the same forms into the campaign. So if I was to click on this, it would take me through to the form to, to request people's skills, for example. Now, I'm just gonna briefly show you how to get the most from your profile. So when you have created, once you've registered a profile, it'll obviously be blank. Click in the top right corner and click on your dashboard. You'll see various things there about how you're interacting with the platform. But what, what we'll want to do once you've joined the time bank is start to edit your profile on the left here. And there's a couple of things to bear in mind. So if I click on edit profile, uh, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory, but I'd really encourage you to add a picture so that people can see you and, uh, and trust you better when they're engaging with you on, on the platform. You can also upload a video to your profile and you can see the link in there. What I'd stress with the video is you're not uploading a simple hyperlink. So if I go to YouTube here and look at this handsome chap's video, uh, when, you, uh, when you look at the share function on YouTube, you're not, you're not sharing the link, you're sharing the embed code. And when you share that embed code, into there and you 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 save it it'll look like this you'll have a completed profile with a working video on there and that just helps with with uh, with the interactivity and um, make sure you tag it correctly so if i go back to back to my profile and we go to edit you'll see there's this bit here called a best match feature when I click on that, it shows you all the tags. So I'd really encourage you on here to show people that you are you are work you are working with the NHSR community, and you'll see that that tag is on there. So you can add that to your profile. I would also encourage you to support the NHSR Wishing Well campaign 
Again, if you click on campaigns, you can select that, like I've, I'm about to do now, apply that and show your support for the campaign. Uh, you'll see also various um, skills and activities that you'll want to tag to your profile so that people can see what you're all about. And you can also uh, apply for a badge. So if I click on badges here on the left-hand side, you'll see a variety of badges that you can apply for. And all these really are, are tags to give you a visual aid to see who's, who's doing what in the community. If you scroll to the bottom, we've just created a new badge to show that you are an NHSR community member. Simply click apply for the badge. Uh, this goes through to me and I'll, I'll then check with Mohammed and approve official members. So it helps you if you put a bit of a blurb saying, I'm an NHSR member, uh, I was at the conference. When you hit submit, I'll then approve you. And then when you go to your profile, you'll see that that badge will be attached. And when you are on the home page, that badge will, will start to appear and it'll overlay on people's profiles. And I just wonder if there's an example live at the moment there might be might be someone on here with a no but i'm sure i'm sure someone will come come springing in at the moment when we when we start getting nhsr members uh, there are some additional features on hexi time which i'm not going to go into at this stage because there's clearly a lot of material for you for you to see there but i'm going to stop sharing the screen and just see if we can tackle any any questions that that might come in if i yeah i've stopped screen sharing there so do ask any questions and i'll try and i'll try and answer i'll try and answer in the next 10 minutes then what we're going to do is break for an hour give you all time to get some lunch and it'd be really amazing if you could check out the platform create a profile and register to the time bank I'll be busy eating my lunch and approving time bank applications as we go through. And then after lunch, we're going to spend a session helping to facilitate you guys to formulate offers, requests, wishes, ideas uh, using a mirror board. And we'll start to populate them live on the platform and, and troubleshoot as we go through. So I'll just pause there for a moment. I'd also just add to what you said there, John, is that as soon as you've um, registered, filled your profile in, uh, having applied to Time Bank, you get two free credits just for the, for the effort of putting in there, which you can then redeem with any activities on there. So once you've got your profile set up, once you've been approved for Time Bank, you get those two credits. Have a browse. There's you know uh, hundreds now of offers on there. Some of them from within other from other NHSR community members, others from outside, and feel free to use it. We we actually allow you to go into your kind of overdraft as well. So, you know, don't feel shy um, to, to utilize that and benefit from, from the community straight in. So you don't need to have to have given before that you take. I think that's a really important point here as well. I, I'd also add as well that part of this collaboration between Hexitime and NHSR community is, you know, to support you guys with your skills and expertise. So, um, when you do activity on Hexi Time, by all means, like link it and use and abuse our social media. And we'll use our Twitter profile or our LinkedIn profile to try and give you guys more profile as well and bring in more expertise to, to help you. So um, I'll just put the Twitter handle in the in the chat and, uh, and we're on LinkedIn as well. By all means, use us and we'll give you additional coverage. Uh, Hisham and John, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, look, thank you both. Uh, that was um, that was, that was a, 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 an inspiring and moving uh, introduction to to Hexitime, uh, and I'm sure John, you you probably have your personal story as well for getting to Hexitime. So, thank you both for sharing that. There's been some really um, kind of um, uh, kind of positive uh, things in the chat already. Um, I, I know we're going to pick up uh, after lunch, but um, do you have any anecdotes of stories that that uh, that have really kind of uh, made you feel 
kind of good about about Hexitai? Yeah, yeah, and um, I'll just I'll just share. In fact, I can just give you a very quick, very quick screen share. Um, if I share screen again, so if I go to to the platform uh, and I click on some of our case studies, uh, we, we we try and write up case studies as we go along. But um, a really good example here of like collaboration in, in the world of healthcare improvement. I like to use this one here. So uh, you had three junior nurses in a pediatric ward in the Midlands, and they were trying to reduce length of stay for their patients. And in doing so, they understood that they had to improve the discharge process, and they probably wanted to process map that discharge process. So they put a request out for, you know, a wish on, on Hexi time and for process mapping expertise. And it was this chap, a guy called Tom Rose, who was a local academic who didn't know these people, works in a different profession and works in a different organization, but was only 10 minutes down the road. He came in and brought national best practice expertise to then support these frontline nurses to do their process mapping. He gave them a couple of hours time and supported their process map. And I like it because it goes back to what Hisham was saying at the beginning, where he was, you know, he was, is a busy practicing clinician, struggling to deal with the workload and doing improvement activity, and was able to use Hexi time to increase his capacity. Uh, sorry, they, they, the, the nurses, they were able to increase their capacity, bring in expertise for free. And I also like it because it's a win-win relationship. They're getting free support. And he, as an academic, he's able to give back to his local hospital. And he's actually expanding his research portfolio for his academic work. So when, you, when people ask questions like that, I often think of this case study because it's win-win. It increases capacity and it's really operational improvement work. And uh, I'll stop sharing there. And we often get um, feedback from members, and it's why I share the social media. If if it's working for you, do share and encourage people to use it. Uh, it was only the other day I got um, an advanced uh, uh, health practitioner in King's Hospital in London just uh, tweeted me on, on my inbox to say, you know, th th this is amazing. There's no way I would have got access to these level of skills without this kind of brokering platform. And in that case, she was a frontline uh, clinician trying to produce a business case for a service level improvement, was getting no support with the complexities of a business case. She put a request on Hexi time and, and is now got, she's now got a chief operating officer in a hospital giving her personal coaching on how to write a good business case. And she was just over the moon that that, that standard of support was available at her fingertips. And it's why me and Hisham are also excited with the NHSR community, because I think I perceive your talent levels to be re right up here, really, really, really high levels of, of expertise. And the wider NHS community is, is going to be lucky to have you offering and, and sharing these expertise. Thank you, John. I, I, I think I'd also like to make the point really for colleagues um, uh, can I? Can you hear me? All right. Yes. Oh, yeah. But then, then um, we are we are joining a wider a wider community full of amazing people and amazing diversity, really. So, so of course there are things that the, the NHSR community will will offer, but there will be so many other things also that that uh, that other people will offer us, which may be of interest to us, really. So. Um, uh, you know, chance to spend time with leaders, t chance to uh, understand some things about the clinical world, uh, a time to kind of give support on data science related issues uh, uh, to, to leaders who don't have um, opportunity elsewhere and so on. So so to me, I think this is it is exciting, really, that that, that it's a it's a kind of ecosystem or a kind of uh, um, organic process where where all sorts of interactions will emerge, really. Um, OK, John, I think we're in terms of time. Uh, we've only got about a minute left now, and I think the the idea is that we'll pick up again at uh, at one o'clock. So uh, just a quick reminder about homework. Then, please, as, as many people as possible can go onto Hexi Time, can can register, can then um, on their profile indicate that they're involved with NHSR community. And um, was there anything else, John, uh, in terms of homework? Um, 
No, just uh, register a profile, apply to Time Bank. Uh, oh, uh, NHSR badge uh, delighted to see already. I've just approved about 12 of you for NHSR community badges already. So um, they're, they're already flooding in. Um, okay, really great. Great. And then after, uh, 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 after one, we will actually do some uh, activity on, on Hexi Time. So we'll, we'll look forward to that. Thank you, everybody. It's been a fantastic morning. Uh, and uh, it's been uh, it's been really exciting, really. So we look forward to seeing you at one o'clock. Anastasia, will you now just take over, please? Uh, yes, thank you, Mohammed. I don't think anything. I don't think I have anything else to add. But as usually, uh, drop down menu on the top left. Uh, then at one o'clock, you'll be able to go and uh, join it. And also, I assume uh, it will, you will automatically be moved if you here. 1 p.m. you'll be moved. Um, and uh, I, ha I can see questions from Zoe, John, and Hashim. I'm not sure where, um, if you can pick it up quickly before we go. Uh, no, no, you don't need the hex time details to log into Myra. Myra will be, will be the board we'll be using for the next session, actually crafting some activities and offers in collect collectively, actually. It'll be a collaborative activity before you then post it on to Myra. So, um, but yeah, no, if you can get, make sure you can get on to Myra. That'll be helpful during the break. Great. So, and now I think we will finish the session here, and I'm just doing some clapping and applause around to all of us. Um, as usually, thank you for joining us, and uh, we will see you at 1 p.m. Okay, Bye. Bye.